Hi, I'm Alexandra, owner and founder of Mama and Ruse, and today we are going to do a front wrap cross carry. This is a great first carrier, um, excuse me, yeah, great first carrier and a great first carry for your long woven wrap. Uh, so let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is find our middle marker. We're gonna set that on our chest. Uh, again, imagining that baby is on our chest, head close enough to kiss. Uh, that's kind of where we're sort of envisioning this. Each side is a tail and each sort of line of fabric is a rail. We're gonna take the top rail of one of the tails and use it to help us go over, across our back and over the shoulder. Okay, and then just kind of bunch that up on top there, making sure it doesn't get twisted. And then the same thing on the other side, take the top rail of that opposite tail, cross the back and come up on top like that. Okay, so we're gonna bunch that up and we're gonna see if we've got enough room for the baby. Um, we're gonna tighten if we need to. Okay, we're remembering that each sort of, each rail corresponds here, right? So if we tighten here, we're gonna tighten up at the top and if we tighten down here, we're gonna tighten the bottom, okay? So when we feel like we've got enough room for baby, but it's not too tight, mine was maybe a little bit too tight, we've got enough room, but not too tight, we're gonna go grab our baby, okay? Okay, supporting baby's head, I like to bring them up to the shoulder. I like to come underneath the rail, I mean, excuse me, the, uh, that horizontal pass, and then grab the feet and move the feet down. And I like to sort of sit baby on that pass. I just think it's a nice way to sort of get settled. And as you settle, you'll probably feel if it's too loose or too tight. I just kind of pulled some of that. I'm going to hold that there to help me. And I'm going to kind of tighten that as well. Okay, kind of hold that. So I'm going to grab the top edge of this horizontal pass. And I'm going to kind of bring it up, 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 up over baby. Um, arms in typically for a small baby like this. And I'm going to take one of those tails that I pin down and I'm going to do some more tightening if I need to, okay? So if this feels a little loose, which is really common, just do that. Um, I like to go up into the side and roll my shoulder. I'm not going to roll it to hurt it, but pull like that to really make sure I'm getting as tight as I need to to feel comfortable, okay? I'm gonna pin that again and do the same thing on the other side. Uh, don't be afraid to take your time to tighten and go rail by rail, making sure that you've got all the slack out so baby is nice and safely positioned, okay? We're gonna take these bunched passes. We're gonna take a look at baby's feet, uh, make sure that they're okay. So we want baby's feet out. We want baby supported knee to knee, okay? We can kind of tuck that under help to exaggerate that a little bit. Okay, then we're going to cross. For a really small baby, we're probably gonna do what we call a Lexi twist, which is that just an extra cross. It just makes it so it comes down a little lower, doesn't get in the way of baby's feet. And then we bring it around to the back. So we can do a double knot here and end the carry, um, or we could end it with a double knot to the side or back in front, just depending on how much length we have. So that is the front wrap cross carry. This is what base size is based on. So if you can comfortably do a front wrap cross carry and tie it off in a double knot, uh, that and not have, you know, you'll have enough to safely do that. That is your base size. We could convert it to a front cross carry if we wanted to by just spreading the passes across baby for an extra couple layers. Um, if we wanted to do something like that, we might need to do a shoulder cap, so pulling that, <laughs> pulling that across the shoulder. That was that inner rail and I brought out there. So it started here and I brought it there to give more space for baby. Uh, and definitely in either carry, you know, you can always, if baby is resting, just move that panel over there to support the head. If things feel loose, which that felt a little bit loose, you can always thread that, move that slack, thread it into your knot, even redo the knot if you need to, okay? To get baby out, we just undo the knot, always making sure we're supporting baby, okay? And we can do that, bring the pass down, supporting baby, pull baby out. 
And there you have it.